Let's see if this is working. All right, I think we're up. Uh, levels look pretty decent, I hope. I think they do. Okay, so let me know how things are going. Okay. All right, hi everyone. Sorry, I'm I'm on showing part two, but really I should not be because it's not. It's kind of buggy. Found another bug. If you use language descriptions, what's up? If you use language core description in armor, they, then heavy warnings get displaced. Ooh, that sucks. All right. Let's uh, let's let's get going. Where is my? just on here. Here we go. All right. Hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is George Mormisato. Uh, I've been playing a permadeath run um, in in, uh, in in a vanilla game, and uh, let's see let's let's see how far I've gotten. It's I'm already in the uh, outer realm, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a ton of stuff to go in here, and we'll just we'll just check it all out. Um, meanwhile, hey, wait a minute, how come? Oh right, I started in Tausetti. I was looking at this and I was wondering, hey, why? How come you can't see Eridani? But um, that's because I started in Tau City. So, um, all right, let's uh, let's get started. What do we got? Last episode, which was a couple weeks ago, I remember I finally got my um, some good stuff: a fusion fire howitzer, some kashibas. I got some. I got my Uroi MX shield. Um, what else have I got? Let me just see. Um, yeah, I got Ortho steel. I got. Um, oh, they, oh, that's right, the ACAN 600, plus 50%, which is kind of nice. And of course, I still got my Fusion Fire and my Mag Launchers. Um, I've got a Missile Defense, which is fine, a Smuggler's Cargo Hold, and that's it. And I don't think, uh, none of my slots are free, no free slots, so um, I think that's it. So, um, it's a couple couple weeks ago, so I don't remember exactly what where I was or what I needed to do, but... Let's just see. Um, I don't think these guys have anything good, anyways. Let's see what we got. Ammo boxes. Nah, nothing good. I don't think I need ammo. I'm pretty good for mags. Um, I got a lot on my A can, which sounds pretty good. So I think I might be. I mean, I, I, yeah, uh, NMS is a bit dicey against the Phobos, but. I'm not really going to go against the Phobos for a while, I hope. Um, I do want to get the Ion 9. PM says you want to get the Ion 9, but I'm not sure you'll get enough stuff to do it without Ares farming. Ah, well that would be a problem. I did find um, I did find the Valen, so and the Valen's right there, so I probably can just hang out here and find out what else can I sell. I don't think I have any more weapons, so I guess maybe I'll just have to keep going. Let's keep going. Um, I don't think Omnithor counts. Maybe ranks? I've been doing pretty good at with Omnithor. Try to get another Omnithor guy. Switch back to these guys. Except 
try to maybe get away from them so I don't get pelted. Ah, that's a pretty long range. That's pretty long range, so maybe I'm going to have to rely on... Oh, got him. Mark 5, Novaya Armor, that I can definitely sell. Terrachnium, I'm not even sure I can refuel that anymore. Did I already look at all these guys? Slam Cannon, useless, useless. Oops. Uh-oh. Hilo. Hilo, Hilo. Oh, 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 these guys are coming in. You know, I think when I'm under the, under pressure, I really do want my nice little omnidirectional cannon so that I don't have to, so I can run and still fire. Oh, 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 damn it. Okay, hang on a second. Okay. And I'm going to invoke uh, Restore, Strengthen, Defend. As, uh, not as fun as I thought. Hey, um, I can't repair that howitzer, can I? I'm gonna leave that, it's probably too heavy for me. Let's go over here. That howitzer is, um, oh, here come some other people. No, they're fine. Those are, oh, it doesn't say, repeating, mark five. Dual fusion. Those can't get repaired. Let me see if they'll. Nope. Ah, bummer. Okay, so I guess I just gotta dump all that stuff. And I can sell that. And I gotta repair my armor. Uh, which I guess I could do here. Okay, I still got a ton of money, so I'm, I'm feeling okay. But I just can't be careless. I, I was a little too careless with the with the hunter killer. I really should have been a little bit less cavalier. Level nine damaged weapons are okay for the fabricator. Oh, so so you're saying I should probably take them? Is that the answer? Level 9. Yeah, it's too bad I can't repair that. Dual fusion fires would be pretty cool. Okay, well, you know what? I'm still pretty good. I think I'm probably... Yeah, I'm, you're right. I'm probably not going to farm the fabricator. Um, hey, and I still haven't ordered anything. And I don't have any more meds, so I think we're okay. Okay, so I think I'm just going to move on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Etaceti! Uh, I could go forward, or I could go... I should go forward. If I can go forward, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I think I can go forward and... Let me buy some more mags, though, before I do that. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, 
yeah, let's buy some of these. They're not that expensive. Uh, that's probably enough for now. I don't need base busters anymore because I've got I've got my fusion fire. So I might be okay for now. The only other late game thing you really want is diamond field crystals, and those are super pricey. Yeah, I don't think I can I can afford those. Hey, here's a. Uh, I think this is a uh, Stormhound, if I remember correctly. Not sure if you want to enhance the fusion fire with a better version of the CC. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this mission. Do I want to do this mission? What is this mission? Oh, this is the this is the penitent penitent stronghold. Yeah. <laughs> Colorful troopers. Always oh, such. Such jokers. Okay, welcome aboard the Changeling. Blah blah blah. We're helping. We're helping Benedict rescue the children from the penitents. Yes, yeah, so this is one of those secret ships. Good. What's the plan, Benedict? Blah blah blah. Fortified monastery. Blah blah blah. I think I'm. I think I can do it. I'm repaired. Might as well. Let's go. Let's help him out. Um. I was happy to do this mission and have um, have another use for the Aquilas, you know, other than them destroying the the Antarctica. I, I like the Aquilas. I think they they're kind of cool. Um, so I'm I'm glad to use them. In this case, I think that Changeling is just kind of a special forces ship. Okay, what am I supposed to do again? I think just destroy. Try not to hit the Changeling, but. Maybe if you get out of my way. I think I probably have to be further away. Oh, I just hit the changeling. How about some. Do I have any. Ah. Get in there. Do I have any. Um, Siege mags? I mean, this would be the time to use it, although it didn't seem to be doing as much damage as you would hope. And especially with that... Oh my goodness, these guys. I gotta wait for it to stop firing, but I think I have to be pretty far away for it to stop firing. Of course, it doesn't help that I can't see anything in the nebula. Not in these guys. Oh boy. Come on, Changeling, come on and help me out. Forty-one percent. Who are these guys? And why are they hitting me? I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Jeez. Oh, and now they've got now they got a destroyer here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go.
Jeez, I took I took a beating. Jeez. Penitent cannons. I think I don't think I have any more good ones of those. These I can sell. Oh, not really, actually. Okay. Ah, that's useless. Okay. Now, what happened to? There we go. Oh, wait. What? Phil smoke on. Oh, they got killed. Wait, did I screw this all up? What happened? Oh, that's what happened. Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, did I screw this mission up? Uh, I don't... It, 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 the mission's gone because I failed it. Let's see, where's my mission? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, that might not even show up. Well, that sucks. The changeling died in the explosion of the station. Well, I think if the changeling dies, I think I fail the mission. Um, I think if I if I if the changeling hadn't died, then I probably would have been able to continue. But oh well, as it is, I guess I failed. Well, that sucks. That's all right. We'll do some other ones. Meanwhile, let's see if there's anything else here that I can get. I don't think I can use anything else. Nah, these are mostly useless. They got useless stuff. Well, here's an intact one. That's pretty good. I can at least maybe sell it. Probably not even. Can I loot anything here? No, I can't loot anything. Can I loot the Aquila? Well, I guess I can at least loot this, although I don't think I get anything out of it. Yeah, and I do want to account for that in uh, in the achievements. Did I get anything else? Okay, I think that's it. Oh, there's a rogue fleet settlement. I guess I should get those. Okay, how am I doing? How about if I explore a little bit so that I don't die? It says you'll need to burn a long shoot to fix the iron weapon, which is not worth it. Alright, that's fair. Ooh, ringers! Finally! What can I sell? I got nothing to sell. Okay, well thank you very much anyways. They take ore and stuff like that, so I don't think I have any ore. Penitents, kobolds, gotta avoid them, especially in the state my armor is in. I need to find some place to repair my armor. Rogue fleet. I do want to do more with the rogue fleet. I think they're, you know, I, I kind of created them very early on in the game before I think a lot of the, certainly before the Antarctica mission and before a lot of the other stuff was, was kind of thought through, so they're they're a little bit, they're kind of a little lost right now. It's not clear what they do or what they are, and there's really no real missions around them. So I'd love to fix some of that stuff and kind of make that more interesting. Okay, I'm repairing. Is there anything to buy here? Field crystals. Thousand credits, that's not bad. Side mounted fusion fire. Hey, this is kind of cool. But again, as everyone says, I really shouldn't bother because they'll just get damaged. Okay, then never mind. Okay.
Is there no repair all option? Why'd you say no to side fire fusion fire? Because everyone always tells me, ah, Ventari, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Everyone always tells me not to do external stuff, like side mounted stuff, because it um, it just gets damaged so quickly. I, I I don't know if I totally buy it, but I do know that I'm I'm pretty sucky at it, so um, I probably would get it destroyed pretty easily. Ah, right, here's a Commonwealth Settlement, Omnithor. Let's see what else is around here. Another trading post, man. That's like the third or fourth one. This game. Thor. Ventures Outfitters. Rogue Fleet. Cobalt. Okay, so I'm repaired, so I might as well take out some of these guys. Let's take this guy. I'm gonna have to buy some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend. God, should I do? Fu I probably need fusion for these guys. These guys are. These guys are not. I think I, I'm, I, I need to start upgrading my weapons because these blast weapons against these guys are not as good anymore. I mean, this is all ion stuff. Yeah, look, I mean, they took down my shields in just a couple of hits. Jesus, this is much, much harder than I thought. Oh, see? Look at this. Running me? Inconceivable. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now. Now to go after the warlord camp. Okay, that was way more. That was way more dangerous than I expected. But I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't be surprised. Warlords are not actually that easy to kill. They're they're actually pretty nasty. The cobalt. And they are here shooting me at super long range. Probably longer than my range. Yeah, longer than my range. Oh, or either that or I'm just aiming properly. Totally missing them. This is an, this is one of those th cases where I want more than more than 100, 120 facings. I'm right in between. Oh, now I'm too close. That's the this is the sweet spot, and that's and it's not working for me. That's it. There we go. I'm just. Barely in range. My howitzer, I guess, has enough range. There we go. Blasters, nothing. That's useless. Useless. Quadricarbide is not useful, but probably I can sell. I can sell this stuff too. Okay. Let's go sell over here. Oh, actually, Thor is probably gonna sell it. Um, Rassir Messer launcher is really good. Might want to get it. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Have I seen one? The only thing about Rassir Messer is it doesn't have that many missiles. I think it's only got two. Oh, let's try it. Um, it's about the time when I really do need something better. Oh, there we go. 83,000. I'm just, I might as well get it. Alright, I'm getting it. Why not? And now, let's, um, 
I can sell. I got Gotha 10s and Gotha... Yeah, the problem is I really need a lot more of these. Yeah, and they don't have any, any ammo. I can go to Rasir Messer, to the next system. Manufacturing plants often have enhanced ones. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. That's all right. Um, let me sell. Sell. Uh, this is... This I, this I don't think I can give to Dvalin anymore. Sell that. Keep those. Sell these. Keep those. Sell that. I think I'm selling my Iron Reflector. I don't think... Buy Gotha 400. Yeah, I think that is what I need to, to buy. I, I'm selling my Iron Reflection. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going to use that. Sell this because I've already got something better. Sell that because I've already got something better. Sh using Shatter turns off Shatter and Desperate Escape for a while. Yeah, that's. That is th the main trade-off. Um, sometimes that's worth it. Let's see if these guys have any missiles. Oops. Oh, well, I got to repair also. Missiles. Here are the 400s. How expensive are they? Not super cheap, but but I need as many as I can get. Let's go here. It says, yes, you can, unless you already gave him six. Oh, that's about the penitent cannon? Oh, okay, well, then I can go back and try to sell it. This, um, this stuff I should, I should dump. Unless I want to burn a long sphere to sell an, an, an undamaged one, but I don't know if that's worth it. I don't think I'd make the money. Um, I'm just going to buy as many as I can get of these, because even though it's going to burn all my money, I think I can make a ton more money by selling other stuff. I can sell that. I will sell Iron Reflector. Uh, Long she won't fix... Yeah, no, I was talking... Sorry, I was talking about this um, Star Cannon, which I think I have a Star Cannon. I don't remember. Okay. All right. Um, so I've got a penitent cannon that I'm going to give away. Um, let's take on. Let's let's do a little of Ares farming here. See if this will help me. Start here. These outposts are fairly easy. Get into the. Oh, yeah, once again. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. This is particularly bad today. Tritium injector. That should. That's pretty good. That's something. There we go. 
Okay. There we go. Lightning cannon. Okay, yes, long shoot will fix star cannon, but it's not worth enough. Use long shoot on stuff like Ares Positron weapon. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, repair your armor. Ingenuity first. I'm probably better safe for a duel or Mark 7. Um. Should I do Ingenuity? I guess I should. Nothing new. Does that... that just... Yes, I'm still okay for a little bit. Okay. The Dvalin won't take most Ares weapons. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay, so then I guess I can't... I can't take that. Um... What else do I need, then? How about, um... Yeah, I, I forgot the rules, but I thought it was something like rare, rare stuff or uncommon stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys. They just took away my shields. Like, no time. These are, um, Centurion Xs, which are as we know, fairly nasty. Oops, sorry. Star cannons are not fun. I just have to let off some missiles, because otherwise... This is pretty far away. Probably too far. There we go. Further than their star cannons. Using Circle of Wrath, might as well spam Ingenuity. That's not a bad idea. Okay, this is that stuff. Well, I guess I might as well bring it just to sell it. And I'm gonna have to refuel pretty soon. Sell. Um, your shields aren't great at this point. Early in the game, you need to use lower level shields for financial re reasons, but at this point, you probably want the highest level you can get. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, there's another guy. Okay. These guys still are not going to have anything good, are they? I'll get the ruined ones. Oh, an intact one. That's good. Ah, another intact one. Okay. Um. Okay, I got that one. Uh, Omnithor, maybe I'm a little bit wary of, so I'll skip that. But this Ares outpost was not too bad. Farians. I could start farming some Farians. Those guys would um, give me. Uh, stuff for the ringers. That might not be bad. Warrior will kill you. Yeah, that's actually... That's actually a good reason not to do it. Light north of steel. Sell, sell. Okay, I gotta go find a place to... So I'm going to keep those for Dvalin. I'm going to sell this. 
So I don't need those. I'm gonna sell this. Everything else I can keep. Including my microsaur. Okay, then I can refuel. Jeez, 20,000 just to refuel. Anything good here that I might want? Some field crystals. A reflect particle, I don't want that. I could just start buying ore to... I could start buying ore to sell to the ringers, but... I don't know if that's worth it. Probably not. Nah, probably not. Anything good here? No. Iron Reflector, which I sold. Wire Wrap Device. That's probably a jump drive or something. Sell at Thor's. Ah, you know, um, I actually just changed that. People are going to hate me, but Thor's was the only place that offered 90% um, of price of weapons, and I, I don't think that makes sense. Um, so I changed it back to 50%. I know people are going to hate me, but um, that's another one of those guy dang it things where if you know, then you know, and if you don't know, you you feel cheated. So, um, so I changed it. Jump Drive has Alien. That is probably either Bushido or Omnithor Enhancer. Oh. Huh. Buy and hoard crystals now for trading for Rin. Can I, what else can I buy here? Like these guys? Ooh, Gem of Despair. That's cool. I don't think... And this Iron Flame Cannon. Yeah, I don't think I want anything else. You don't have enough money to buy or and sell to ringers. Yeah, I do need my credit, especially nowadays. Then I'm, I'm just going to have to find some place. I'm just going to have to keep on killing things and looting them. Hoping that I can find some stuff. Ranks. Some fortress. These guys are fairly easy nowadays. good for Dvalin. This other stuff is, except for that, is probably good for um, selling. Lancer Cannon, useless. That's good for selling. Nope. Let's see if these guys have anything good. Particle Beam, nope, useless. George can find the nanofac. He can go nuts with thermal cannons. Okay, you'll have to you'll have to take. Oh, there goes Hilo. You have to walk me through that. Um. Okay, how about ranks? Oh, 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 too close, too close, too close, too close. Yeah, these, I think ranks I'm not going to take on. The problem with ranks is because of their shields, it's the same thing as the 
Same thing as um, Rogue Fleet. My um, fusion fire, it just doesn't fire fast enough to, to kill him. I have to basically burn all my missiles, which isn't always a good thing. Ventari's probably not a good idea either. Ranks are good. You can farm gunships for armor repair kits. Oh, well, that is fair, too. Alright, well, maybe... Well, I don't like my other options. I don't like my other options, so maybe I should just do it. I didn't uninstall the ACAN. I still have it, so I could use it. Alright, that's fair enough. Okay, I'll do that. Let's do that. Avoid these rogue fleets. I still got a lot of... Oh, and these guys have some wreckage here. And I can always use that. Oh, and here are the armor repair kits. Look at that. Yeah, actually, this is what I want to do. This will replenish all my ammo. If I, uh... Oops, wrong one. These guys should have a weapon. But... Advanced Analyzer. Can I use that on anything? I don't think I can. Yeah, I got nothing. Um, oh, how about these guys? Ventari, that's cool. Tev9 Blaster, which I can at least sell. Hey, by the way, I, I want to uh, show off one minor thing that I'm just adding. Um, now, when you're looting, you get to see the price so that it just helps you if you want to know whether it's worth it to loot something. Although, I don't know where it gets this price, but whatever. Because there's nobody that will buy it. Okay, let's sell. Um, this won't... I can't sell that to Dvalin, can I? Oh, here's my list of things that Dvalin will buy. Oh, it's basically not... not for sale stuff, or rare, or very rare. And I'm looking at... I'm looking at it, it's mostly stuff that you would... It's, it's, it's not a lot of stuff that I know. Dwarf stuff, a lot of Dwarf stuff. Um, world ship armor, xenophobe ion laser. I'm not gonna find that. Blinder cannon, sunflare cannon, penitent cannon. Iocrim stuff. Oh, luminous stuff. So if I find luminous stuff, I can do that. All right. So I'll get luminous stuff and heavy sung armor and bolt cannons. And some of the some of the Ares, but not the lightning turret, but not the lightning cannon. Okay, so that's, I guess, my... So Luminous really is where I have to do. Okay, well, that's that's not bad. But that does mean I can sell this Killiton Cannon, because they're not gonna... That's not rare. And I can sell this Tev-9 Blaster. So I'll keep those. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell Sung Armor. It's heavy Sung Armor that, that they care about. I got some gems, which are useless. Okay. Okay. Okay, where else we got? So, in this scheme, none of that is useful for me right now. So I neither, either have to go forward, or sell the helium, yeah, I can't, I can't use that either. 
I either have to go forward or backwards to get some... I think Luminous... Luminous should be around here somewhere. Am I past Luminous? I didn't think I was. Gotta sell those. I can't use... Can I use this... Uh, oh, I should sell this stuff too. Frozen supplies, useless. Don't sell that. I don't. I. I think I can still refuel from terrakium. Yeah, I can. I can refuel from terrakium. Okay. All right. Luminous get more common past Edaceti, so in theory I should be able to. So let me do. I might be able to do that. Um, is there anything else I can take on here? that won't totally destroy me. Let me just do one more. Yeah, let's now let's 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 go forward. Let's go forward at least to see what's there. And then we'll see. Go patch up somewhere before you go further. Oh well, that would have been that would have been good advice. This looks like a this looks like a desert system or something. No volcanic. CSC India. Well, that's cool. My first my first uh, task force carrier. Explore before you take missions. Patch up too. Yeah, that's fair. And, and that's good advice. Ventari. Oh, I hate Ventari. Ranks, but it's a fortress this time, which can get it can get pretty dangerous. Ooh, there's a Commonwealth settlement. Looks like it's under attack. We've lost some turrets. Oh, jeez. Fighting ranks. Okay. What have I got against ranks? Fusion fire, I think, is the only thing I got. This for the answer, I think, is just get close in where the the cannon can't do as much damage. There we go. There we go. Ah, Gothas, nice. Strelkas, I can sell. These I can sell. These I can use. Patch Spider, awesome. That I can use. That I can use. That I can sell. Patch spider. What else have I got? I guess I have to repair some stuff. Did I just kill the station? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I guess I can get some of this stuff for free. Did I kill it? Or did the did the ranks kill it? I might have killed it. I didn't think I had. Let's see. Uh, I guess I can try. Man, I wish I knew. So one more thing I want to add to the game. I'm gonna write this down before I forget it. If you kill a friendly station, you should you should see it when you dock. You should get some kind of uh, some some notice uh, when you dock, and and otherwise your first notice is going to be when you dock at a different Commonwealth station. So that's going to suck. So I I just got to be careful if if I.
if if I I have to be careful. I guess let me think what I can do. Well, let me just loot some stuff. If I killed it, um, I might as well enjoy some of the fruits of this labor. That's probably uh, that's that was probably useless to get. Oh, now now I'm full. Okay, let's see if we can find some place to sell it. I can I can dock with corporate. I cannot dock with Commonwealth if I did kill the station. So. Okay, I'm going to avoid... There's Luminous. Let me see what I can find here. See if there's anything else. I think insurance pays out if I get arrested. But I'm not positive. Oh, Canterbury Station's dead. That's... This is, uh, I think, Xenophobes. Yeah. There's some xenophobe wreckage. Oh, this this was destroyed too. Star cannon. Okay, I gotta find some place to sell. Nothing here. Let me go in the inner system. It says ranks landed the killing blow, but I would not swear to it. Yeah, I, I don't know for sure either. A lot of dead stations though. Here's a couple more settlements. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, okay, someone said, dock at the CSC won't kill your game. They'll take your ID, but not end your game. But drop your ID before you dock. They do, but it doesn't clear the crime. You'll get arrested again if you dock again. Okay, so I think that I can try that. But I think if I drop my ID... Oh, here's Makayev. If I drop my ID, I think they're not going to let me in. And I don't think... Maybe this is not what you guys had in mind, but... I did fix the bug where it won't kill all my military IDs. I think now it's going to say... Yeah. Um, I think if I dock, it, I'll lose my ID. Oh, press F2 and check statistics. Oh, that's probably even better. Duh. Duh. I should have... Here we go. Enemy, oh no, friendly stations destroyed. I want. Ah! I think I might be okay. I don't see it. So I think I might be okay. Well, like I said, um, like I said, I, I think the, yeah, I, I think it'd be great, and I think I've said this before, Anytime a major friendly station like that gets killed, we sh it should leave behind something so that when you dock, you know who killed it. Whether it was you or the ranks or somebody, you know who killed it. I think that's... I just... I mean, it would help in situations like this, but I think it also would be more fun. And obviously, secondarily, it can give you missions and crap. Okay. Now I can sell stuff. Keep, keep, sell, sell. Keep, sell, sell. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Um, keep. I don't think the Valen wants this. So I'm selling this. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm back to reality. And now it's almost time to go. But I think I'm in pretty good shape. Let me, uh... Let's see, where else can I go? Oh, right. I was going to go to Luminous. Oh, sell my helium fuel. Did, did I have helium fuel? Well, let me, let me get, let me kill Luminous first. I got a couple different weapons. 
Let me start with the A-Chem because it's just easier. And these guys look like they're not immune yet. station before I let me flip to these guys. While I'm messing around with these guys, I'm just gonna kill this guy. There we go. And then it won't create any more. Got him. Alright. Now all those are useless, but I guess I guess I'll Here we go, Luminous Blaster. I don't remember if that was on the list, but... Luminous Ion Shield. Luminous Thermo Shield. Luminous Armature. This is all good stuff. Mnemonic Cubes. CDM stuff. I don't think that's useful to me anymore. Ah, forget this stuff. Shield and armor, not weapons. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Ooh, intact. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump this one. Jettison. I should jettison that because they don't, I don't need it. I should jettison that because I don't need it. Probably should jettison that too because I don't think. Well, I guess if we give it to Terrans or something, but I'm probably not gonna farm them, as everyone says. That's intact, which is nice. Okay, so now, let's go back to Let's make our way back. Uh, it's it's already five o'clock, but let's just take a little bit of time. Make our way back to Edaceti and oh, Ventari, get away, Ventari! Did you learn your lesson? Let's go to Edaceti, and then we'll see if we can backtrack to. Um, Back to Devalin. You can't fix your dual fusion fire. Yeah, no, that's true. You probably should just jettison it. I want to go back to Enkidu. Thank God I'm not blacklisted. Oh, that would have been a pain. Okay, Luminous Shield. Ah, uh -huh, he's happy. Blast Shield. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Segments of Tvalan Armor. Are those any good? No. No, probably not good. Probably super crappy, right? Because it's only 200 hit points. Ah, too bad. I guess I can sell them. They look cool.
Okay. Not enough. I can't sell here. Can I repair anything? Nothing to repair. Nothing to fix. Anything to buy? Oh, well, yeah, I can buy. No enhanced ones, but I can buy more ammo. How many have I got? Let me just buy some. No, that's too much. God, that's all my money. 75. No, I maybe I'll buy only buy a hundred, which is still a lot of money, but okay. And oh, refuel, thank you. Okay, now I'm good. Okay, um, yeah, the violent armor is rubbish. I should just sell it, and I can sell it right here. Oh, of course, it, it, it's not giving me any. It's it's not for sale or not or something. So I can't even sell it. It's going to give me almost nothing. That's too bad. Um, I don't think there's any other place I can sell it, is there? Well, uh, I'm not. There's nothing, I'm not going to carry them around. I think everything else is. I don't think I can sell. Oh, my ammo box. I should use. I should figure what's in there. Thermal cannon shells. I can sell those. That was useless. But at least I'm not carrying an ammo box. Um, this stuff I should sell. Although again, they're not giving me a good life sell this stuff though I can sell this that's useless all right well that's good enough um, I wish Shrike were here he'd have some more they'd have some words about Tavalin armor yeah <laughs> they would <laughs> okay well um, thanks as always I think this is good for I think this is a good stopping point we'll start again next episode uh, next week and we will uh, continue I think I'm, I mean I'm you know I'm getting there I'm getting there we'll uh, eventually get 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 someplace um, I'll do some carrier missions next time I think there's there's I, I want to try out um, there's a bunch of work that was done in them to basically restructure them I, I'm sure that we can test them out so I'll do that but until then thank you guys very much thank you and um, I will see you next week all right oh Helos here bugging me here because he wants attention um, Try the engineering analyzer on them. Oh, I guess I should. Um, YouTube media accounts. Yes, thank you. Sorry. I, I gave... Um, I did this for Assume Pseudonym. I think Assume Pseudonym now has access. Um, I need to... I the, the only way... I don't know what our canon, what your media account is. It, it I need an email address. I think the only way I can do it is with a with a Gmail type email address. Whatever email address you're using for YouTube, um, that's what I need. So just just PM me that. Um, maybe you already did and I lost it. So if you haven't, just do that. Um, same with T Tech. I have like a username, but I it won't let me type in a username. So um, so I'll have to do that. Uh, other than that. Um, I'm happy to take questions I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been working on. I've been working on mostly some of the trading system. You've seen a lot of the uh, uh, ministry records that I've been posting. I'm actually pretty, pretty, uh, in pretty good shape. I, I want to just take you on a little tour. I want to show you uh, what I've done. Let's try, um, let's just try a, let's try a, a, a freighter. Let me show you. So, so the first thing I've done with the freighter is I've basically done a somewhat similar thing to the Constellation. It now comes with a cargo hold, and it's basically I repurposed the the old 200-ton cargo expansion. I'm not calling it now, calling it a trader's cargo hold. And so the trader's cargo hold basically 
comes with a training computer and this gives you some some extra extra stuff um, so the the freighter now comes with that cargo hold now unlike the unlike the constellation which has a hold that you cannot remove on the freighter you can still remove it the the, the, the one thing I made different is that um, this basically you you can't you can only replace it, you can't remove it and sell the cargo hold. And I think I'm gonna flip the constellation to do the exact same thing. So basically there's now a flag on the cargo hold that basically says um, that you can replace it for any other cargo hold, no problem, you know, same price, whatever. Um, but you, you can't remove it without replacing it with something else. That's kind of just the one the one thing. So I think that solves the problem of, of people uh, selling it to get more money and then buying something later which can be an exploit um, I know they did that with the constellation so anyways okay let's let's start on I'll show you I'll show you how it works uh, check the original social media account threads please yeah I did unfortunately and um, again there's no there's nothing there's no email address there I need an email address so send me an email address okay um, so first thing you'll notice if you go to the cargo hold um, when you look at the trading computer it'll say um, it'll tell you where to where basically you'll get the best price um, at least of the stations that you know about so this only counts stations that you know about um, and if you and if it knows about other star systems it'll tell you about other star systems where you can sell it um, but another thing to learn to show you is let me go um, if you guys remember, um, in in previous versions, I, I made it so that you, you know some systems. Well, now also at game creation time, we we do do this um, trading system where you, you certain systems have shortages or surpluses of some goods. So, for instance, here Rigel Aurelius will tell you that it's got shortage of fusion fuel ores. Um, imports basic foods and industrial resources meaning it doesn't have shortage but it still will pay a little bit more money for those so you know knowing if you can buy some ore or whatever you'll be able to sell it at Rigel Aurelius for a good price um, Eridani exports ore so I should be able to just buy a bunch of ore here and um, and or, or, or loot some ore here and, and then you know make some money so I don't know how this is not totally well balanced yet but that's kind of that's kind of the, the basic idea. Let's um let's go find. Um, well, I'm not gonna find ore here. I guess I could buy it. Let's go to that mining station. Although I think any place will sell ore. Oh, okay. There's a mining station around here usually. Maybe not this time. I guess not this time. Well, maybe I'll buy ore at Start Naridani. Show what it looks like when buying, please. Okay, let's go. I don't think I'd do anything different with when buying, and again, maybe I should. Um, let's try it. I haven't done I haven't done anything, but I probably should. I think when you buy something, you probably should see where you can sell it. So let's let's go to buy. Um, well, I don't have much. Yeah. So this is this is this is it. It won't. It doesn't tell you you can sell it someplace. But it's not. Wouldn't be too hard to add. So I can probably do that. Um, question: Is there a benefit of armor shield like hull plate ionizer or various Arabian shields over normal shields? Um, if not, why do they cost more for balance purposes? Why do armor shields take more power? Um, that's a good question. I, I, I think, I think my idea was, and, and again, it's quite. Um, my balance calculations may absolutely not be um, appropriate, but my my thinking was because this is the kind of shield that you can pair up with some really strong armor and then get a bonus of the shield um, what what I th I thought that for those reasons you should you should have a balance so I think what I should do in terms of balance I think the shield should be balanced for essentially halfway between its minimum hit points and maximum hit points if you know what I mean um, 
and then people kind of get an advantage if they have maximum armor, you know, advantage, and then it it's not worth it if you have less than good armor. That's what I'm thinking, and it's probably not balanced correctly, but that's kind of where I'm where I'm where I'm thinking. Okay, so here I am. Um, because Eridani is a place that that has a lot of ore because of all the asteroids. Um, actually, not because of the asteroids. I think it's because it's got it's probably got because it's got a a mining colony here. Um, there's probably a mining. There's got to be a mining colony. That's not it. Um, so it's the same, but prices actually vary by category. Yes, that's absolutely true. Prices vary by category. Let me just find the mining shield. I mean, mining station. Just so I can talk about it. That's it. Um, the way this works, the way the game works, is basically, depending on what stations are in the system, you'll have either shortages or surpluses. You know, the prices will change of those broad categories of goods. And the categories are, you know, kind of what you see here. There, there are ores, there's, um, there's fusion fuels versus antimatter fuels versus whatever. There's basic foods, there's industrial resources, there's luxuries, there's medicine. Those are the, the broad categories. And of course, you can define those categories. If you guys have other commodities you want to define, you can define your own categories. That's totally fine. Um, and then for each type of station, a station basically defines whether it increases or decreases prices of those broad commodities. So a, a, a mining station will um, decrease the price of ore. So when I dock with this um, and I buy stuff, you know, you'll see that the ore is discounted. Um, it's probably discounted a little bit more than um, if I buy it at, at Eridani, I think. Um, let me buy some. I'll just buy one. And then when I sell... Oh, right, because it doesn't buy ore. Let me go sell somewhere else here. And by the way, if I look at I look at the ore, again, it'll tell me sell to Greenwich Industries for 182 credits, you know, versus 200 credits. Um, Mining shield. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, when I sell, um, you know, Start and Aridani offers me 156, but the trading computer tells me, hey, go sell to Greenwich Industry. Oh, they'll they'll pay more, 182. You know, of course, Greenwich Industries is a corporate enclave, so we'll pay a little bit more. Um, but the prices of, of everything, all stations in the system will change based on that system-wide parameter so um, you know even at Greenwich Industries if I go over here um, if I sell it offers me 182 credits but that's still a discount over the, the kind of the nominal price um, and in fact check one more thing out um, now uh, right now let me do one more. Let me show you one more thing. Right now, if I'm here, it'll tell me. You know, if I'm in my cargo hold, it'll tell me sell to Greenwich Industries for 182. Um, but it also uh, considers other star systems. Um, so if this guy were buying ore, it might it might tell me that I should go to another star system. Now, Rigel Aurelius. Um, buys ore, so it should actually tell me I, Rigel Aurelius, but actually the way I've done it is um, um, I only consider s star systems that are up to three gates away. Otherwise, it just I thought, and again, this is something you guys will play with and you'll tell me whether this is right or wrong, but um, it, the trading computer won't consider any star systems more than three jumps away just because it thinks, well, um, you know, what a pain to tell you something way out of your way. Why not just kind of limited to stuff that you can actually get to pretty quickly um, so that's kind of my idea and but if I go out to the next star system we'll you'll see you'll see hang on a second
now I'm a little bit closer. If I look at the ore, yeah, it's going to tell me sell in the Riders Aurelius Star System. Um, and now it's for 252 credits rather than, you know, 180 or whatever it was. So I think that's going to um, that's going to be interesting. Okay. Um, Let me just read, sorry. Um, um, uh, it, it's that if hull plate ionized did, did not have kinetic resistance, it would be worse than class two. Yeah, again, this is, I think, I pr I'm i pretty sure, I don't know, I, I in, in practice, I find hull plate ionizer pretty decent. I thought better than class two, but I might be wrong. I don't know. <clears throat> Speaking of Benedict, it would be nice if he directed you to habitats for missions against Tori for money and not do it for free. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That makes that makes sense. That does make sense. Okay, let me read in Twitch. Um, um, I'll be making more pull requests for more intro stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I really love the intro stuff that you did, so I think that's great. In Inimitable Song. Aha! Uh -huh. this, is this is a new name. Um, sounds like Shrike. Um, okay, I'm getting attacked. Um, I see we're expanding to be. Yeah, I must say this disguise thing is awfully fun. <laughs> um, I mentioned earlier that Shrike would probably have words about the Valen armor. Yes. So it knows how many jumps away a system is, even if you don't. Oh, that's a good point. Um, that is actually true. Which, which, which may or may not be leaking too much information. So in some cases, for instance, it'll tell you whether or not. Um, this star system exists or not. So that might be a flaw in my plan. Um, we'll have to play with it either by either by we'll have to play with it e either by basically only considering known systems which then I mean it unfortunately might not then it might never tell you Uh, well, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Devalon armor lacks any purpose. I think, yeah, I think we talked about that it just, Devalon armor comes too late. I think that's what PM is saying. And I totally agree. Um, or the topology could be fully visible. Yeah, I thought about that, and, and for something like Stars of the Pilgrim here, it it probably doesn't matter because the topology is more or less fixed. But I think for other adventures, particularly once you get into Vault of the Galaxy, where the topology is, is not going to be fixed, um, that might spoil some of the some of the exploration part. Um, but that's that's but but I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, you could get info about prices and systems you haven't visited yet. I think that's kind of one of the key things about this feature. I don't think it works if you don't. Um, part of, I think, the, the goal of this feature is to, to give you interesting choices. And, and so giving you, giving you a hint saying that, hey, you, you, if you get to Rigel Aurelius, you can sell ore, just gives you some choices. You can decide, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hoard this ore all the way to Rigel Aurelius. Um, and give up some other uses for my cargo hold, or maybe no, you know what? I'll just sell it early. Um, so I don't know. It's it's interesting. I I, I don't totally know whether uh, this is going to work. I mean, obviously this is why we're going to test it out. But um, I think it's going to be better than the previous system, which was I think I think a little bit boring. Okay, <clears throat> you could add a galaxy map, Brum. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, that's a that's a super obvious idea that I never had, and so I love it. I think that'd be great, and and yeah, I mean it can just reveal some of the systems around you. It doesn't have to reveal the whole thing. Um, I think that I think that's a great I think that's a great idea, and 
you know, of course we, we should do that. Um, all right, cool. Um, the Vaughn armor, yeah, actually I reflect might not do something. Yeah, I, so my question about the Valen after playing, after playing this game, I wonder if the issue is, I don't know if the Valen should, should have better armor or whether the Valen should just come earlier in the game. Maybe the Valen should show up like at the beginning of the ungoverned uh, territories, right after St. Catherine's Star or something like that. And then, you know, and then you might be more prepped for um, what what he gives you. Of course, we'd have to change the set of weapons and armor and items that he takes because I think they'd have to be lower level. But that might still be that might still be something we could do. Um, so yeah, I think everyone's right. By the time you actually meet Valen in the outer realm, none of the stuff he gives you is that interesting. So we'll see. Yeah, if he needs all that hardware, then you need better stuff. And so, some of that stuff, I think we could again. We would, I would change some of the, I would change some of the requirements. Maybe either there's less rare stuff, or I don't know, whatever. But we'd have to, we'd have to just tweak it so that it makes more sense. Yeah, we can tr lower the XP thresholds. Um, Or at any station where you happen to need him to be there, like most NPCs. Yeah, that's that's also not a bad idea. I mean, could just be the first station you find, but um, but in any case, an early appearance I think might is probably the right thing. Um, maybe use procedural quests with him. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. The trading computer could show a complete table of seen item types and the best places to sell them. That's that's also a great idea. I don't have right now an entry into the ship's computer. I mean, the trading computer. Um, I don't have, like, you, you can't use the cargo hold, although that may be the way to do it. Um, I might also add an entry here. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's a great idea. A set of quests for a set of items for each reward might work. Alas, the prime candidates in some cases, e.g. Thera for the I-9 project, are locked in, into DLC. Yeah, I mean, some of that we can work around. I think you missed my earlier questions about shields. I did indeed. Um, let me just read. Um... Did you see my ticket about shields starting out down? Will just swapping the order of loading shields and armor fix the bug with various HP shields? And canonically, can shields be up while inside another object for autons? Ha! Uh, both good questions that I don't have good answers to. Um, I don't think order of loading will fix the bug. I think... Yeah, I... I'm, I'm not sure that, that I know the code is definitely different. It's a different code path when you start out with shields and armor that combination than when you install it later. When you install it later, I think it does the right thing. Um, so it's a different code path. I don't know. It, maybe the swapping, maybe maybe it will make a difference. But I'm not. I'm honestly not positive. It's definitely a bug um, that I would rather fix in the engine so you don't have to work around it. So I'll take a look and see if there's an easy way to fix it, but hopefully there should be. Uh, canonically, can shields be up while inside another object for Auton? So so I think this is the this is what you're asking here is, I think when you bring an Auton into your cargo hold, can the shields be up? Um, and, and I don't have a good answer. I don't see why not, um, other than you're burning energy, which maybe you don't care about um, so I th I think that's an interesting question but I don't I don't have a good answer 
So maybe, maybe tell me why why it's interesting. Uh, meaning, you know, uh, which answer you'd like, and and why do you think it would be um, you'd want it one way versus the other? I'm looking at the ticket. Autons are created with shields down if modified shields up otherwise, except for those with hull plate iron items. Oh my god, I'm already there's a ton of code that I have to look to to figure that one out. But but I, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Um, yeah, th th there's all sorts of crazy code to figure out the interaction between shields and armor, so that's probably why. Um, I'd like to make it consistent between modified and non-modified. Yeah, that makes sense. That that obviously makes sense. Um, can you have a mini shield generator in an armor segment? I ask because I'm thinking of an armor shield hybrid for Auton, so I don't need to blow up max devices to fit cool combos. Armor shield hybrid for Autons. Oh, well, that's cool. Um, I really like that idea. I think that I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think the engine quite supports it yet. The way I would do it probably is is maybe install a virtual install a virtual shield generator with zero that takes zero slots or something like that. Um, and then in a yeah, but then that might it then then if, well try that try a virtual shield generator with zero slots that takes zero slots that might prevent a new shield from being installed. Um, it'll just say you already have a shield generator or something like that, which may not be the right answer. Um, yeah, because you want you want the shield effect, and you may even want the shield display on the HUD. But you just don't want it to come from a shield generator. You want it to come from armor. Um, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's. Oh, so that's not what I meant. Okay. Then I don't know if then if you're just talking about. If you're just talking about, um, you just want fast regenerating armor, but that, but that you're not allowed to have a shield generator with, then that I buy and that's a lot easier and then that um, absolutely I buy it I think that would work and um, in those cases then maybe 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 your armor just needs that flag um, so if you're saying the engine can do it and you're just wondering whether conceptually in the universe this is something that would be allowed or well, that would make sense I think it does make sense um, so yeah if, if I think it would make sense in the tech of the universe uh, and if the engine can do it which I think it can then I would go for it I think it's a good idea uh, okay uh, I'm sorry I'm a little bit behind AP and I were talking about the ethereum mess up bug being exploited leads to 130 million being locked up indefinitely I haven't seen that bug it might be a fun quest line with the anarchists or another cyber capable faction. Oh no, you're talking about Ethereum, the uh, currency, the cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I, I'm you know, there, there's no cryptocurrency in here, but man, there probably should be the anarchists or another cyber. You're absolutely right, there's definitely some cool stuff going on in there that we could probably do. Um, uh, common with credit has to be computer code to function. Yeah, I, it, the common credit is absolutely not. It's certainly not, um, um, you know, physical unforgeable stuff. Um, it's it's got to be just bits on a computer. But but I'm not sure that it's cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency has a, has an interesting set of um, properties. But I don't know. The only thing that's interesting about cryptocurrency is that it's it's distributed meaning there's no central store of value but if you're a government like the commonwealth you don't care about that you want a central store of value um and so you don't need cryptocurrency you just have a database you just have you know a, a database with a proper permissions for moving things in and out and you're done you've got a currency so it's not it's not that hard 
um, the only thing that cryptocurrency is good at is when you when there is no central authority you can trust when you don't want to trust the central authority but Commonwealth credits you absolutely can trust somebody um, I think anyway okay um, sorry let me keep reading but but regardless if the point is hey aren't there some interesting stories we can tell about cryptocurrency mess ups I absolutely agree there are and I think it would be a lot of fun to have the, the free world the anarchists use cryptocurrency I'm, I'm totally into that uh, okay shields up would be nice but not just recharge instantly when they return or it's exploitable right that's the that's the issue um, that's the issue um, Yeah, I mean, we could even, even, even without recharging by events, a, as long as we keep a time, a tick, as long as we store the tick on which the, the um, auton was, kind of dehydrated, then when we rehydrate, we can just, you know, manually add the hit points and manually do the regeneration. We don't even have to have events, um, and then that'll be much more interesting, I think. Um, okay, and there are other things on the old list of uh, uh, corporate hierarchy entities that aren't in the game but would be prime candidates for being the main and sub contracts for being a combo kind of functions on different courses. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ethereum sounds like an in game commodity. Yeah. Absolutely. Add a credit hacking mechanic. Yeah, I, I think you know this is another one of those things that we could add, particularly to Eternity Port, is some more of that hacking stuff. I, I really think, I mean, Eternity Port is probably where I would put that. Um, I want to sort of expand and at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Also, we aren't getting sound effects from the game, just music. I think because the game is not. I think because the game is not doing anything. Um, okay. Ah, but you can't have a central database across multiple star systems. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. But but that's okay because that's okay because um, because you'd still need some kind of system to essentially record and play back the changes I, I don't think that would I think I don't think that would work with cryptocurrency either um, because the time between synchronizations would, might be too long so I, I, I think I think cryptocurrency doesn't solve that problem either um, Sound effects are not. You can press up cases to enable combat sounds. No, that's in the. That's in the. That's in the. Intro, but we're not in the intro. Uh, George, generally speaking, adding water to roads is a bad idea. Rehydrate may not be the right term. <laughs> I just, I just read. Um, a three body problem, and I think I have that on my mind. Okay. Um, Ships were shooting but not playing sound before. Oh, that's interesting. My 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 sound is working, but maybe maybe others were not. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It seems to be working now, but but I don't I don't know. Oh, you know what? You know what it could also be. It could be that when it's not the foreground window, the sounds go away. That might be possible, and then you guys don't hear it either. Um, uh, also, a cyber war or whoops, that's a bug plotline could lampshade the fact that OPSEC and network security is apparently awful in this setting. <laughs> Any system that can blow the reactor should probably be air-gapped. 
Yeah, absolutely right. But as you guys know, it's it's not always um, it's not always uh, that easy to air gap things. Um, I always had canon that CDM powers are half magic. You know, I I think I think it's it really is hacking. I think I think I think as we're finding here in the real world, um, the complexity of the systems are such that it's it's there are exploits that just you know you you just don't expect, um, and even air gapped systems have have ways of getting stuff on it. I mean, there, there's, you know, the, the way they hacked into all the Iranian nuclear reactor stuff, I mean, those are all air gap systems, but as long as you could have anything, touch, any, any, any USB drive or anything, just go into it, and as long as you compromise that, um, you're in. Um, so basically, you know, there's no such thing as an isolated system. They're air gap systems, but that doesn't mean they're isolated. You always bring things in and out, even if it's just people. Um, so I, I, it's it's I think it's it's a very very hard problem, um, and I think it's only going to get worse in the sense that the complexity of the systems will be such that um, even simple simple uh, little systems will have all sorts of processing power and are thus vulnerable to hacking. I mean, once you get Internet of Things going, the amount of hacking going on is going to be ridiculous. So that's kind of what I think is is why it, things are like that in the in, in, in the comic book. Okay, uh, I mentioned to AP that you could probably hack the CW credits with an Apple II and a handful of paper clips. <laughs> um, sounds are gone again, which implies, and here they're back now. Yeah, so I think it's, I think it's Windows. It's because I, the window was in the background, so I guess don't do that is the answer. Okay, um, I gotta go. Unfortunately, um, I'm uh, gonna off to prepare dinner, but. Um, God, thank you guys. I'm I'm happy to uh, uh, happy to to uh, chat and happy to answer questions. So let, let's uh, get together again next week. Next week um, I'll be around and we'll do another session. Um, and hopefully I'll be a lot further on part two. I'm just working on part two right now. Um, it's just there's so much to do, but I'll get further. So I'll give you some updates uh, uh, at that point. But thanks everyone. Uh, Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all next week. All right, bye-bye.